Hey kids, this is Sarah Mom 1964. We've just gotten into Hyrule Castle and we're gonna sneak past the guards now. So our first guy is right here. He's all by himself and he's pretty easy to get by as long as his back is to you. Now, don't move because this guy coming around the corner will see you. So be patient. And yes, there are ways to sneak up behind them on this side and get around them. Please don't do it until you're used to it. Once both guards get together, this one's gonna, the one at the top is gonna come towards the one in the center, and they're both gonna walk up between the fountains when they do so. When they do so, it will be safe to go by. Shh, 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 Link, don't make all that noise. Okay, I know you see a lot of money, don't bother. Okay, we, you don't, those are just single dollars. Don't go past this. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten snagged because what you can't see is there's a guard behind this wall. And he'll mail ya. Oh, <laughs> I lied. It's the next one. Okay, this guy runs pretty quick, and you, it's kind of tricky to get past him, so sometimes I let him go by. There's going to be another guard that comes by. Let these guys circle around until you get the feel of their rhythm, and then you'll know when to go. I usually go when the second guy comes down and starts up the path the other one went down. And you'll have plenty of time. Do not get too close to them. Don't nag me, Navy! Okay, now he's coming down. I'm scared. Hurry up. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Hurry up. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now you're all right. Don't panic. Just don't get too close to him because he'll turn around and nab you. We're almost to the princess. Okay, go, go, go. Now, now, now. Woohoo! There we go. And we're going to visit the princess. Oops. <laughs> Sleep the wheel. And she's peeking at something. This is really cool. I, you know, I'm going to take the time to do this because it's really funny. This is Zelda's bedroom. If you, like, there's Mario. There's Princess Peach. You see her posters in there? And if you come around this way, um, I think you can see it better. There's Mario. There's, I think that's Bowser on that one side. See, there's, there's Bowser and there's Mario. I just think that's the coolest. It went mad at me, you Flaming fairy. You jerk shut up. Okay. So now we're gonna surprise Princess Zelda. Oh, you caught me in the shower. No, I'm sorry. That was very naughty of me. I'm a ninja. Yep, it's a fairy. So now we find out that, now if you say no, I honestly haven't done that. I think my son has. Honestly, if you say no, um, I think she says, yes you do, and you know, there's a whole thing that goes on. But don't say no, for God's sakes, because I don't know exactly. I'm a rule follower, so if I have something, I'm going to admit I do. <laughs> if she wants me to keep her secrets, I will. So she's telling us about a prophecy that she basically dreamed about. Um, nobody really believes her. Her father doesn't believe her. Um, which leads to a very interesting end scene in this video game that you'll get to enjoy. And this exchange is really interesting because she asks him what his name is and she says, strange, it sounds somehow familiar. Uh, high rule historia, people. Now you get it. And I won't wreck that for the rest of you, but it's cool. Please keep this a secret from everyone. Okay. Because we don't want to hurt her feelings. Okay, get ready for dinkle, 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 dinkle. I'm sorry, guys. I can't pass it.
So whoever gets control of the Triforce has his wish granted. Now, if someone has a righteous heart, Hyrule will be a paradise. But if a person who touches it is a manky little pig, then he, it's going to be evil. Again, and how about I wish you'd curl up and die? So, the sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce. So, the sacred realm is actually in the Temple of Time, sealed up. And so you, she's telling you now you need three spiritual stones, of which we have one. So we have two more to get. And she, now she took the, the other treasure that is held by the royal family is the Ocarina of Time. That has the power to control time. Do you understand it? If you want her to explain it again, hit no and she'll tell you again. Now, any of you that have a, uh, that's not, that you're not using a wave bird, um, this is really kind of a fun little scene because it kind of gives you a jolt. So she's talking about the dream that she had and the dark clouds, she believe in her dream, they believe, she believes they symbolize the man that's in talking with her father right now. Will you look at him? If you say yes and you go in for a look, your... Uh, controller will give you a, a zap when Ganon looks at you, which is kind of funny. See, did you feel that? <laughs> did he see you? Did he zap you through your controller? I think you should have like an electric shock. I don't think you should just rumble. I think you should like be shocked. So she, you know, was explaining she told her father, but he didn't believe it, so. But she knows there's something not quite right about him. Actually, I think he's got a wonky eye, but you know. Okay. So she can pretty much guess that he wants to conquer Hyrule and so in her own little way, she wants to try to stop what he's going to do. And so she's out. Do you believe me? Yes, I do. Of course I do. You're just so stinking cute. How can I not believe you? So she has a feeling that this guy's going to destroy Hyrule. <laughs> so she's going to hatch a plan to try to protect the Temple of Time and the Triforce. So she wants Link to go get the other two spiritual stones and uh, see about protecting the Triforce. So she's going to give us something helpful. We got Zelda's letter! And this is going to be a huge help because there's some place we need to go. We can't get there without the letter. And you can talk to her one more time if you want. Okay, and this is our first opportunity to meet and fight in this game. And she actually is the princess's uh, guardian. She takes care of her and she, she believes what Princess Zelda is telling her that this guy's a bad guy. And she is going to teach us our first melody. Now, only the people that have connections to the royal family can use it. So it becomes important later. Now, how we're going to play this, we don't need to have our ocarina out right now because it's going to be automatic. You're going to use your yellow control stick. Lucky N64 people, you just have to hit your yellow buttons. So you're going to hit your joystick. And you 
play Zelda's Lullaby. It's our first song. And it's that magical moment where he just can't believe it. It's all shiny. You did. You learned Zelda's Lullaby. Okay, so she's going to take us out of the castle so we don't get hit by the guards. That's nice of her. And that we are. Our next adventure is going to be Death Mountain. The Gorons have the spiritual stone of fire and that's where we're going, kids. Now she's telling you to visit Kokoriko Village, which we kind of have to because we can't get to Death Mountain without it. And there's a few things we can do there fast and early to get some equipment before we go up to Death Mountain. Only the royal family can play the lullaby. Yes, yes, yes. Like, we don't need any more pressure. We're counting on you. We know you're only seven. Oh, my God. She's like a magician. All righty. What are we going to do? First thing we're going to do is save our game because we've just done a big piece of work. Red button. Green button. There. We've saved our game so we're not going to lose anything. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do is meet you on the next side of the video, and we are going to go to Kakariko Village and get some really great equipment, visit some bad guys, and get all powered up and get ready to go to Death Mountain. So as always, stay in school, stay safe, and stay away from weirdos. I'll meet you on the other side, kids. Oh, really?